Hey everyone, we're going to teach you how to make Mad Skrilla at Universal Orlando. Plus, we're going to talk about some rumors and some rumors that aren't technically rumors, but they're basically confirmed, but they're not so much rumors. All that and more, live from the Bob Varley studio, this is the Dis Unplugged Universal Edition. This is episode 35 of the Diz Unplugged Universal Edition. The Diz Unplugged Universal Edition is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts at helping you plan the perfect universal vacation. You can visit them on the web at www.dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Hey everyone, we are back once again for another episode of the Diz Unplugged Universal Edition. I am your host, Craig Williams, and at the table with me this week, as every week, is Rhino Clavin. Hello. And on the other side is Jenny Lynn. Nope. Hello. And back in the controls, steadfast and strong, as always, producer Dustin West. That's me. Yeah, so... For everyone watching this and saying, hey, it looks like Jenny Linton's wearing the same shirt she wore last week. And Dustin, too. And, Craig, are you covering up the shirt that you wore last week? <laughs> as well as you, Rhino. Well, that's because this is a live... In air quotes. In air quotes. Show going out right now that... Uh, is actually being pre-recorded because we are in the middle of our universal land and sea adventure. Specifically, the sea part at this moment. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. we're out at sea. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're on ba- the enchantment of the seas. Yes, I uh, just put this sweatshirt on because it's freezing in here. I'm not trying to yeah. cover up the fact that I'm wearing the same T-shirt. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, we are in the middle well not the middle we're actually on the last day of our enchantment under the seas dance it's so sad i don't want to go home i know marty you gotta go back (laughs) i was trying to think of johnny be good lyrics yeah (laughs) that's fine hey marty you never learned to read or write so well yeah your cousin (laughs) your cousin marvin listen to this I like how we had to specify the last name of the cousin of, you know. Yeah. Sorry, this is Mar- irrelevant. Mar- Mar- <laughs> yeah, no, it is, but uh, we are on the enchantment of the seas, not the enchantment under the seas. Uh, however, I think they should really think about renaming it. I wish they point. had like a dance on there. And now I wish I had ordered like a graphic tea last night. That wouldn't have gotten here in time anyways, but I still would like to have an enchantment. Under well, the seas. It, it is a cruise ship, so you can guarantee that somewhere on the ship there will be middle-aged people dancing. I'll bring my ball gown. I'm dancing. I'm going to be dancing. Yeah. I will be dancing. Well, I'll be Ted dancing. We'll, we'll find out more, uh, I guess, terrible. whenever we get closer to there. But yeah, we were... We're in the middle of that right now, so I hope everyone is super excited to see what we bring back from all of it. Of course, spending time at all four of the Universal Orlando Hotel properties, um, as well as I think Rhino spending a day in the construction site for Sapphire Falls just to really get a a feel of what that's going to be like. I got my hard hat and everything. Yeah, it's it's a pretty sweet look you got going on right now. Uh, And... Yeah, so look for that to come out later on in uh, in just a little bit of time. I mean, I would wish that we could just literally show everything that we have right away, but we have to take a lot of time to edit it and make it look presentable, just like you have to do every morning you get up. I really do. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So to pair that good doesn't just that's what come I would, naturally. You know, there is no better compliment anyone can ever pay me than one bestowed upon my hair (laughs) just for anyone out there who ever meets me and i don't mean that in like a jerk way i just i i'm sorry (laughs) this is again (laughs) i've gone off the rails where are we going that's fine we're allowed to go off the rails it's a crazy train we're going to beauty town okay population this guy What you got on the slate for us today, Craig? Well, this week we are doing a buzz-only episode. Yeah, that's right. So for everyone who typically enjoys us doing a buzz with then a, a 
a special little mini sode type segment at the end, something we call it a spotlight on the universe every now and then, whenever I can remember to call it that. Uh, we we usually do that with a little bit of the uh, mid-show shuffle in the middle. However, uh, a lot of stuff is currently happening on the week that we are recording this, so I felt like we could get a good enough show out of a buzz-only show, plus uh, we still cannot seem to corral our schedules to work with doing a freaking character meet and greet uh we took the first steps we did we took the first steps and we got we got a good way into it but then we got delayed and distracted with one of our buzz topics for this week bum, know, bum, bum. you're intrigued coming i up. am intrigued because i missed the whole everything oh yesterday. you were at the trip you were I recording was, your I was other taping the trip yeah. and i didn't even take any first steps so yeah. i'm totally behind and in, in the dark yeah but you're jl you've taken selfies with characters at universal before i haven't never no my my goal in life is to get a picture with bumblebee he was i didn't see him yesterday that's what i want the most okay well then if you can't figure it out we still got a lot of work to do on that one we will we will get it taken care of eventually okay whenever we can all coordinate Sad days. But before we get into the buzz, uh, got to go through those couple little housekeeping that we've been talking about the past couple weeks. Uh, at this point in time, I don't even know. We might be completely sold out for Dizapalooza. That would be fantastic. We're close. At- that would. We were at 700 whenever we recorded this last week. Uh, and Only 300 spots left at that point in time. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be an amazing party, Diagon Alley, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios, Florida. Three hours of uninterrupted, beautiful justice. Party, party, party. Partying with the Diz. Butterbeer. Hangovers. Butterbeer hangovers. Caramel Blondie. Salted Caramel Blondie. I'm sorry, I'm going into an ice cream daze right now. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, we went to the park yesterday and... uh, You mean eight days ago? Eight days ago. We went into the park eight days ago. Wink, wink, nudge. And, of course, all this kid can talk about is, I want ice cream. (laughs) The second we walked in, I was like, got to get that ice cream. Got to get ice cream. I want beer. Nope, I'm not going to spend my money on beer. I'll get ice cream. (laughs) (sighs) Ridiculous. But uh, for more information on that, of course, disunplugged.com, you'll be able to find show notes and so much more, including contact information by clicking the... uh, the button that says contact or you could just put in a slash contact after the disunplug.com there are so many ways to navigate around a website who knew i didn't uh and uh yeah also along with that there is still limited there might not be at this point but there was limited availability left still in our group rates for the next podcast cruise that we're doing on the oasis of the seas uh, the ship that we are not currently on right now because we're on the Enchantment of the Seas. But next year, whenever the Oasis of the Seas is in Port Canaveral, technically, we could do a land-sea adventure, which I like I like the adventure part. Mm. Adventure's good. Yeah, land-sea adventure. We're going on an adventure. That was my Hobbit. Sorry. Mm. You could do that better, Dustin. No. Is that your oh, Bilbo okay. Baggins? Yeah. That was close. It was. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty awful, so... Uh, yeah, you can find out more information on Podcast Cruise happening December 4th through the 11th of 2016 on Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas, a wonderfully large, mega massive ship that is luxurious, and uh, it's it's going to be a really good time. We'll be there, I hope. I mean, that's a year away. Yeah, I mean, you can... dysentery. God, this is getting real sad Measles. real fast here. Anything that they have in uh... Ebola. Well, no, I wouldn't go with the, the Ebola. Bahamas? I was basically going oh. with anything that you can find in the Oregon Trail. But oh. anywho, uh, yep, you can find out more information on that at disunplug.com, Dreams Unlimited Travel, Disboards, this, that, and more. Uh, and does anyone else have any housekeeping? I don't think so. I know you don't because. You didn't have anything last week, but I don't. Yeah, really I know used what, up my housekeeping. Like last week. What, my housekeeping, would that be like? I I do I acknowledge the Facebook friend requests I keep getting again? You can random universal related thoughts. Well, that was it's more of like a Diz 
oriented thought i guess but i've been getting a lot of friend requests on facebook and i didn't acknowledge them yet and i'm acknowledging that i haven't acknowledged them yet and i'm sorry i will figure out something and get to you guys sorry (laughs) fantastic okay so i think uh we should (laughs) (laughs) i just don't know how to change my privacy settings so they can't like it's not that i i don't care like i i would love to chit chat with everybody and but you know it's just it's just we already i talked about this on the trip actually okay crossover anyway let's go on we didn't talk about doing a crossover episode no but i meant a crossover i'm crossing over because i talked about it on another show and now i'm here i'm like talk about that i'm like the uh, oz on buffy going to see angel okay well with that let's talk about what's buzzing so first up in the buzz probably something that will take up most of the conversation uh for today i have a feeling but the 25th year of halloween horror nights is coming up very very quickly and we have rumors of the leaked houses oh yes uh so JL's going to be excited about one of these. I, oh, please tell me it's American Horror Story. No. No. Oh. Bummer. It's none of the cool ones we thought of. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's let's just not. But there is one you'll be excited about. <laughs> I think she'll be excited about a lot of stuff. So before we get started on any of this, I mean, this has kind of been buzzing around the internet as of last week, uh, but this is our buzz show, so now we're covering it this week. Um, nothing is set in stone on any of this. If these are still rumors, even though they're rumors and speculation that comes from... It's pretty well substantiated. Extremely well substantiated sources, maybe even stolen. <laughs> we don't know that. I don't know that. Um, they're uh, just not officially confirmed. Yeah. So, but I thought it would be fun to talk about it here. Uh, just because there's a lot of interesting things being brought up. Let's discuss. So... I'll just go all through the list, and unfortunately, I had to start with the one that I really hope is just a joke, a practical joke, but the rumor is that The Walking Dead will be t- returning for a fourth year. Most likely, that is not a joke. I was going to say, why do you, yeah, I don't, yeah. It, Walking Dead is still going strong in popularity. Yep. So. How, but I understand how the past houses worked because to me all of the the scenery in the locations in in the last couple seasons that the houses were based on mm-hmm. really worked well in terms of how to build a halloween horror nights house out of for i know i watched all of this past season did no, you yeah ever? no not yet it's it's i'm doing bates motel right now i'm me in too, my list i did agents of shield i've done so i am there walking dead is next Okay, did you still haven't watched it? You haven't watched it. I've only seen the first half of the season. It really, there is no stunning part of this season that to me would look good in terms of a house. I mean, I agree. Make a zombie house. Don't make a Walking Dead house. That just seems cheap. You're just using the name to try to generate more popularity. Well, what are they going to use? Is it going to be like the church? Or is it going to be like that? hospital like i don't understand yeah like they're just on the road a lot this season it could be the church it could be the hospital it could be then whenever they're wandering through the wilderness again or then whenever they come up into the town that's protected and i mean it's Uh, spoiler alert it's not i mean i knew they got to a new place but it's it's yeah been around now there's no spoilers uh i just don't see how it could be interesting for a fourth year it wasn't interesting really to me last year i thought the house was very well done but the, best- Here's- the theme oh, is get- is getting a little tired. I agree with that. I like The Walking Dead. Still love the show, but well, I don't I, know that I want to do what it. What I Halloween didn't nights again. like about the house or that experience, and that was the only year I've seen The Walking Dead stuff was i don't like that there's no characters there was no there's no rick there's no there's no like daryl there's no Where's Carl? like look like yeah like i don't I, I i that's my favorite Carl. part about universal studios is you feel like you've stepped into it and yeah i i felt like i was surrounded by zombies and i was like oh here we are and we're going to terminus like, and whatever but there i wish there was somebody with like 
Carl's gun just kind of yeah. moping around all dirty. Well, they had uh, the Resident Evil house, and then they had, uh, what's the, the guy from Resident Evil 4, like, up on top of a car at the end, like, looking all heroic. You know, like, something like that, where it's like, you're not getting up close and personal, but it's clearly yeah. supposed to be a character. Like that from, char- yeah, it, I don't yeah. need, like, a mean grid or something, but I just like the illusion that they're moving through there. Like, that's why I really enjoyed the Halloween house last year, because, like, Michael Myers is there the whole time, and you're like, there's that scene from the movie, there's that scene from the movie, and I'm in that scene. Just give a little kid a, a gun and a big sheriff's hat it's like instantly <laughs> recognizable and I, I don't necessarily need Coral. the the characters especially characters like in this instance where it, it's really hard unless you have someone who looks exactly like uh andrew lincoln you don't right? think that they could dirty uh, up somebody slick somebody's hair back and I'm, make it i'm sure they could but that's going to take me out of it as dustin referenced resident evil that's different that's a video game i mean you can be as long as someone looks generally like it, it can work out. For yeah. something like this, I don't know that I'd necessarily want them to okay. recreate it. The only time I've truly enjoyed Walking Dead at Universal was two years ago. Whenever, unfortunately, it took over the entire freaking park. It was all the scare zones, right? Yeah, it was. It was everything. However, they did a good job. With yeah, it. they did a great job in the music being blasted mm-hmm. all throughout the park. It oh, that's just cool. fell. Yeah, that from felt the right. second that you walked in and that music was playing, it gave you chills up your spine. And what I liked about, even though it was, it took up all the scare zones. They did each scare zone differently according to the different seasons of the show, yeah, which I, I thought was done well. I remember seeing like the camper and the mm-hmm. uh, different places so that was cool because i went during the day and i was like oh that's the camper from walking dead and mm-hmm. i i like that idea that the scare zones work together to tell one cohesive story mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. but it's i feel like at this point it is getting a little tired yeah and i actually i want to go back on my statement that you don't necessarily need the characters to make it a good thing <laughs> and they don't have to technically look right because even last year as you mentioned with the halloween house having uh Michael Myers. You had Michael Myers all throughout, but you still did have uh, the, Jamie Lee Curtis's yeah. character sitting on the couch and oh. him coming out. So they do do stuff in uh, a couple of the other houses that we're going to talk about would require having characters hmm. in there. And so it can be done. However, for Walking Dead, at this point in the game with the series, I feel like the I don't care it's about the characters Rotating anymore. cast, too. Yeah. Like, I like Michonne. I... Don't say anybody if somebody dies. Don't you say it. I'm just I'm just pre-warning you. Don't you well, tell no, me if somebody no, no, dies. I'm just all. saying, like, I like Michonne. I like Daryl. I like some of the core, core characters. But it's just getting to a point, like, I, I can't say it because of spoilers. But Walking Dead, probably coming back, woof. <laughs> woof. Tell us how you One really feel. One wolf from my yeah. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> Your girlfriend. Woof. That's so, funny because we're in the buzz. <laughs> <laughs> it it all connects together. So we'll go to the one that JL would probably be uh, yeah, excited I, about. I think Let's so. Um, the rumor for the 3D house this year is supposedly going to be an Alice in Wonderland <gasps> 3D house. Oh, I am so excited about that. And it's in 3D? Yeah. I've How are they doing the that? House. Well, oh, my gosh. They do... It's they, they give you like the glasses that they used to sell at uh, Osborne spectacle of dancing lights where it's not necessarily like the, 3d glasses but it alters the lights it, yeah i so. understand the technology it what i'm asking very psychedelic what i'm asking is how are they doing alice in wonderland it's obvious it's clearly not any of the disney or well, it, alice no, in no, Wonderland's no, no. A but free uh, it's a lewis yeah, carroll public, story public uh public domain so yeah creepy yeah alice no it's like. it's going to be black like rotting creepiness worm. probably yeah i mean alice time. has been done creepy before what's yeah. that what's that mcgee video game something yeah. or other yeah. where yeah. she's like walking around about. with a butcher knife and i mean oh my gosh i'm so excited right now <laughs> truly like i really am yeah. i think it lends itself to like a trippy house like to be honest with you well, like the I whole story is yeah. trippy like I can see it, which being makes that it all perfect. And yeah, and that makes it perfect for their three D choice because the three D houses are always like some kind of bad drug trip. Yeah, the <laughs> last one I can remember is the Pet and Teller. That was really, really terrible. Nuke <laughs> it was, Vegas. It, I never did that. Yeah, you didn't go in the Pen and Teller house. No, I when I went last year, I I guess I missed the three D house. I thought I did all the houses, but I guess I the didn't. 3D do the three D houses are really I don't always very. 
trippy is a, is a perfect word for it. So this actually is a really good fit for that idea, I think. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait. I would agree with you, Jail. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember if there was a 3D house last year. Was there was. the clowns one? There was a 3D house last I year. I went into Which the one was one, it? it wasn't 3D. I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't dolls. It was, was it clowns? No, it wasn't the clowns. It wasn't the clowns. No. Oh, I didn't go into with, that like, again, dolls those one really if it was dolls. crazy lights again. It's always crazy lights. Um, shoot, I don't shoot, shoot. Let's Google. Look, yeah, I'll, I'll Google it. Yeah, Let's I don't Google. think there was one, but oh, I I'm willing that to there be. Was. I, I swear there was. I, I remember. Well, they, we'll get amount, to go but. this year. I'm just forewarning you guys. We're going as a group, I assume, and oh, yeah. I will. I, it's going to be a new version of me. You're going to see when we go to these things. Fantastic. <laughs> just, now, Alice in Wonderland. It has the potential to be really good. I personally don't like the 3D houses. They're difficult to walk in. Yeah, that's God. <laughs> it's me, Margaret. Every time a bell <laughs> rings, it, what is how? That, okay, sorry. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they're difficult to walk oh, in because of the glasses and the weird lighting, and you're not exactly sure where you're stepping. But that also kind of putting you off kilter a bit yeah. um, makes it more scary because you're not exactly kind of, sure what's going on. I feel like it takes on. out some of the peripheral a little it bit too. Does. So you're, it, you got them coming at you a little yeah. more. Uh, so we'll move on to another one. Uh, and this one would be a return one, which is very surprising given that it's only been, it didn't happen last year, but it happened the year before, but an American werewolf in London I'm is ex- supposedly going wow. to come back. I'm excited about this because you had really enjoyed this one, right? Oh, yeah. It was a fantastic This house. is the puppets, right? They had the... Oh, oh yeah. Puppets. It was arguably the best house of that year when it was, oh, when it was uh, here, but why are, they, why are we doing it again? Okay. Well, here's the only thing I can believe is that... An American Werewolf in London was one of the most popular houses because the puppetry was just spectacular. Mm -hmm. And every, I mean, it fit the story so perfectly. And uh, was it like, as I've gone back on myself, it incorporated the characters. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Like, it it was terrifying. Does this, it has Gene Kelly in it, right? Yes, of course. It's the dancing movie? An American Werewolf in Paris. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's the sequel that no one cares about. That's the only one I've seen. Oh my god. No, only because that came out when I was at that age and I would love to see I will watch the I'm old one so before this. Awful. Right now. Is this, this I thought you I thought this was a joke. No, I love werewolf. I movies, was so. referring to an American in Paris, which is an oh, old Gene Kelly right, so film. So it was a joke. Okay. Then That right, was okay. the joke and now it's gotten serious <laughs> because Rhino hasn't seen an American werewolf in London. I will watch that and Poltergeist oh. and I will take a horror movie class. Sorry for derailing this. Oh, oh, by the way, it was clowns. 3D last year. Oh, it, it did was happen the last year. Yeah. Then okay. I, because I went to the team member preview, okay. so I don't know. I knew there was one. Well, they always. They always. I, I it went was in really that gory. House. I didn't wear that clown house was so gory. It smelled like garbage. Garbage. Sorry. Okay. American Werewolf in London was fantastic. I'm excited for that. The scenes were so terrifying. The part where he actually turns into a werewolf from the last one was really, really. Oh, a they bit like much. have like a. Yes, they, they did the had transformation him transforming. Scene with Blue Moon play- well, and then you, you had to the walk movies. through the movie the theater. I'm a fool. You had to walk through the movie theater with the people sitting in the seats, and you had to walk between that. It was that was the worst. That's yeah. really cool. I'm, I'm. That one I'm excited for. Only it, it, you think they'll set it up to be the same, or do, when they do these return houses, they change them at all? Well, I'm glad you asked. They also did American Werewolf in London last year at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, and it was a complete different maze. Uh, Hmm. I did not like it nearly as much as the one in Orlando the year before. Uh, It just didn't seem as well done, and it actually felt a little cheaper, which was surprising because most of Hollywood and their Horror Nights felt like it was on a better and more expensive level, and it was just so greater and uh but werewolf felt like it went flat so however they did incorporate a lot of scenes into the hollywood one that they needed to have they skipped out of the orlando one so as long as the same puppetry and skills of making the house goes into this one and Mm -hmm. they blend some of those scenes that they missed last time and especially if they can find a way to make the the entire house bigger i think it will be warranted coming back for a second time in such a short amount of time. Okay. That being said, 
our next house that would be making its first time debut, I believe, would be a Scream house. Which I oh. am excited for because Scream is my favorite horror movie. The Shining and Scream, they're like up there. But They've know, never had a house movies, for that before? I don't believe so. It's because oh. of the TV show starts in June on MTV. So I think it's... I, that's my worry. Is, not worry, but I think it's going to be based on the TV show instead of the movie. But it's movies, still going to have all the iconic stuff that well, you'd expect, the, I'm sure. There's no ghost face in the TV show. There's no ghost face in the TV that, show? That's what I read is this article is that they're not going to do the same... It's not going to be the same like white face, ghost face. It's going to be something else. I'm so... so wow. I, who knows? They said they're going to be like... There's going to be like references and kind of like whatever to it. I, I mean, I'm going to watch the show... I, so is the house going like, to be based screen. on the movies or the show? They don't know yet. So there'll be no girl popping popcorn at the beginning. No Drew Barrymore scene. Yeah. I, I would hope so, since the the movies are what's iconic and right. not the t- you know the TV show is just starting. Who knows if it's going to be a failed show? Yeah, you know? and I mean obviously this past year they did uh, From Dusk Till Dawn, and that was based on the, the TV, TV series that, that was, was based on a movie. I, I that actually, was not a good house. No, I watched the entire TV series to actually so learn what it was to go in because I've seen the movie a million Listen, times, yeah. and I watched the show. And the house was so amazing in it terms of the actual show. I, I didn't loved watch that house. the show. So uh, you, you that mean house, like house was lost on me? It was like a tied in, like it. It was like being on the show. <laughs> yeah. Like I in mean, that sense? if you only saw the movie, you could still understand what was happening. Yeah, like, I but got if it. you watched the show. Then it just made it so much better. I haven't uh, seen any of it, and I really enjoyed it just from the th- yeah. theming standpoint. I thought it was great. I liked it. It was a, it was a fun. It was more on the goofy side of houses. Yeah. With Scream, if the show was actually kind of correlating like that series did, where you take a series that's based on a movie, and there's a little bit of similarities that you could make it all come together, I think a house could be good. But if not, they would need to do this based on the actual original movie. Yeah. And leave it at that i mean because I, yeah it would have that halloween feel to it like last year that's and that's what i think is really cool because it was like uh what you were saying like the drew barrymore popcorn scene at the beginning there's a lot of very you know the high school there's a lot mm-hmm. of very iconic yeah. moments Scenes in those movies that, that, that would could, be fun to yeah, move through like I the michael myers house yeah. yeah absolutely agree so another horror franchise uh potentially coming freddy versus jason um uh, did they do it they've done this before or no I believe they've done a nightmare on Elm Street and a Friday the Thirteenth. I've never that together. This yeah. idea terrifies me. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll flat out say because I wasn't upfront about it. I know a lot about Halloween Horror Nights since I started going only three or four years ago. In terms of the history and stuff, I have to look up a lot more oh, okay. of that. I'm just one. I wish I could go back and watch videos of every single house, but. I mean, I think you'll have a. I think you'll end up having a lot of fans of this. I think Freddy vs. Jason was actually quite a popular movie. Yep. I own that movie. Yeah, it's, I never it's, saw that movie, but all I know is I am more scared of Freddy Krueger than anybody else in the entire you, fake universe. This movie will be uh, this house. If it if it if the house is following the movie, you're gonna have a tough time. I think. Jeez. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea what the plot line would technically be with this, but I would be happy if it would be something along the line of. Uh, Universal Hollywood, how they did their Alien versus Predator house, they which actually was fun. actually that was a great. What was well, it? no, you you only saw the Orlando one, which was here's a random alien, and then here's a random predator, predator. and then here's a random alien. Then you have to duck and roll to get out of the I house. However, it. the Hollywood one, you did. They were actually battling each other the entire time. Oh, oh cool! So like you would have a predator on your left and you'd see that and then all of a sudden alien would pop out on the right side and just scare the bejesus out of you oh, i'm nervous to go so <laughs> if something was done like that with freddie versus jason and i'm gonna die oh absolutely and then he'll have his little fingers ready for you oh my gosh, little spikes you guys, on it. the first movie i was ever terrified of was nightmare on elm street the first one i watched it was 10 i lost Rest sleep peace. for two months that over oh, that yeah. movie i oh it, okay mm, i can't yep. even talk about it okay well then we'll move on to the next one <laughs> uh insidious I, I haven't seen these okay. yet, but I hear I hear that Insidious it's like a creepy. Insidious. Yeah, it is a very creepy you know, movie with like the weird face, like right? Is it new? It, it has Patrick Bateman in it, and there's 
No. That's What's not his name? Or Patrick not, Warbur- War- no. War- War- Patrick Warburton. Patrick Warburton. He's Warburton. the guy from The Conjuring. Did you see The Conjuring? Yeah. yeah. It, That's it's not the, Patrick It's Warburton. not the girl from Bates Motel. I never it's said Patrick Warburton. Right? No, I Mino said Warburton. He, no, he, he, but he's Bateman. A, is his name Bateman? I don't think it's Bateman. I believe it is. You might be right. You, I'll look it up. You keep he's talking. He's also in... Uh, he plays Raul in uh, Phantom of the Opera and... Oh, and Watchmen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Patrick something. I think it's Bateman. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it does in the case of all of this. Uh, Patrick Wilson. 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 Uh, Wil- Wilson. I apologize. You know. We'll get there. Oh, the guys. kid from Jurassic Park, the new Jurassic World movies in that movie, too. It's Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, Ty yep. Simpkins. I'm going to watch this movie. Uh, kind of a, a freaky movie. That's what I've heard. Um, this heard was it. a house two years ago in Hollywood, and it was it was voted like one of the best houses oh. of that time. And uh, it was one of the speculated houses it's last year that it would come, but it looks like this year it will finally get its place in there. I would rather see a conjuring house. I would love oh, a conjuring house. It, it would. Um, I love houses that are set in like time frames like that. That's why yeah. I loved the Mike Myers one because it was the seventies, and the conjuring is like the seventies too. So it's that cool. It's got that. It, it adds to stepping into the movie atmosphere, yeah. you know. So see Insidious, and you'll understand more about it. So that's going to take us down to our last three houses that I'm going to kind of cover together, just because it's based on older. Uh, older houses this is the 25th anniversary of universal orlando as well as halloween horror nights so they've got to do a throwback and nod to what happened in the past so one of the houses they're saying is going to come is hallowed past two and a couple of years ago they did a house called hallowed past which basically took you started off in a prop warehouse, apparently, with all the old like Halloween Horror Nights props, and then all of the iconic characters, uh, like the Mummy and Wolfman, and Dracula. No, like... not those uh, iconic uh, Halloween Halloween characters. Horror Nights oh, oh, okay, characters, okay. like the special created ones they did, like uh, Jack the Clown. Okay, was in there, uh, caretaker. If you go into um, horror makeup show and look at the Halloween Horror Nights section, you can see more about the characters or. Just look it up, but they're expecting a sequel to that house to help keep that old uh, spirit of Halloween Horror Nights alive. Uh, There's another one that they're expecting to be called Blizzard, which will will combine two old houses in the past, Body Collectors as well as Shady Brook. And I don't really know anything about Body Collectors, except it has something to do with like Victorian London which obviously are these from like the first time they did Halloween Horror Nights? Uh, or just well, like body collectors ones? was started in 2005 and then came back again in 2008. So, hmm. uh, and then Shady Brook is a mental hospital and that's where I think Jack I the one. clown yeah. originated out of that one. And, uh, they've done scare zones, I guess, based on a lot of the other happenings around it. Like I said, I don't know much about the history of halloween horror nights so i need to read up more on it and then another one is coming called run and i don't there was a halloween horror nights house that happened in 2001 and then again in 2006 called run so i'm guessing it will be those like new iteration on that well, it's, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Like, it features run. Eddie, an unused icon of the 2001 Halloween Horror Nights, and it has something to do with a torture house business, and uh, you get to see the sights and sounds of his disgustingness. So uh, I like that they're, instead of doing unique new ones, that they're actually going to do uh, a throwback to some of their older properties that I'm not familiar with at all, so I can finally start to understand. Like the people who've been going for all the years, all 25 years, that are so obsessed with this event. I don't think have they been doing Halloween Horror Nights for 25 years. I thought it was started like after the. They did one the first year, but it wasn't based on houses. Like oh, okay. It is now. It was more or less just like haunted Universal, kind of. From what I understand, like a they did a show and. It was more of that experience, but still, the brand of Halloween okay. has been there for every year. Um, just to run over the scare zone list real 
quick here, and some of them, again, are from stuff that I don't understand because they've come in the past, but they're talking about doing um, the all the trick-or-treaters again in the Central Park area like they've done before in the past. That's cool. That sounds creepy. Yeah, it's like just uh, almost think of the movie Trick or Treat. Yeah, that's, what I, that's that. what I was thinking. Um, you'll have witches and pumpkins and, you know, they'll they just tweet- be little kids and running around, but it won't actually be little kids. Well, they tweeted like a photo of a sculpt, didn't they? They were doing and it looks like it's that character um, from Trick or Treat, that movie. It oh. looks like it's his. And I was thinking like, oh, that looks like that guy. And now that you're saying this is one of those zones like it maybe that's like confirmation of it or something okay interesting uh in hollywood they're supposed to do something called icon zone which is going to be similar to like face off where you just go and take pictures and it's not really scary uh in in the new york section they're supposed to have psychoscarapy which also correlates into the shady brook i guess from what i've read um i was hoping it was like psycho there's one that's there's supposed to be a steampunk one i guess interesting which, and uh <laughs> the one that excites me most is a scare zone based on the actual classic universal monsters oh okay so i'd be totally down for that yeah i'd um, like to see a wolf man especially because it's said that they're going to be in like black and white actually oh, oh that's wow. cool see that's I mean, what i was hoping way. for like a black and white house or something like that that's a lot yeah. of fun i mean we've met frankenstein the but house now we'd be able to meet black and white frankenstein that's cool so that is the whole kit and caboodle as far as Halloween Horror Nights goes. It looks like it's going to be amazing. One incredible event, if anything, even comes remotely close to what this is going to be. I mean, right now they're saying nine houses, which is that's one that's more than big. normal. Yeah. yeah, that is big. So, but they're trying to make it bigger, and that's the perfect way to do it. Well, and if that is how they're going to do it, I'm just going to continue to recommend that RIP tour. Yeah, because otherwise. <laughs> You're not going to get into everything. I want to try that this year, I think. It's, I a, it's a great tour. Either that or you got to pack your patience and also have that stupid Ellen game where you flip well, your... Well, last year I did <laughs> Fast Pass. Yeah. Oh, you can buy Express Pass too. Yeah, that was a new thing starting last year, wasn't it? No. Oh, they've done it before? No. Stupid Ellen game. My only disappointment Heads is up, how did is American stupid. Horror Story get overlooked? Uh, Rights, licenses, all that. Yeah. Maybe next year. All right, hoping for hope. next year. I'm pulling for the Jurassic Park House Universal. If you yeah. are uh, mm-hmm. out there and listening, please, someday. You know, we'll uh, we'll see more later on, I guess. So that'll move us to our next buzz item. Uh, it looks like we may have been right about something for once. Yay. Whoa. Yay. Yay. Uh, the, uh, the old space of NASCAR, uh, <laughs> well, that's been gone rest in peace as we know and just recently uh there was a paperwork filed with a license to the state of florida for a business specializing in food service named nbc sports grill brew so universal gets Mm. its espn club yes they do um which is going to be very similar, I guess, from what everyone's speculating to the NBC Sports Arena section of the Xfinity Live part of the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Oh, Lord, that's a yeah, mouthful. Yeah, that's a mouthful. So NBC Sports Arena, that section is the important part uh, because that's where, you know, what the menu is most likely going to be based on. And I was looking over the menu and oh, it's, that excites me it's scary because it looks like it could be a just a replica copy almost of the nascar menu i mean you got wings cheese steak rolls i want nachos those. i mean it's all bar food that you would expect at a sports place but i i don't know i guess i was just hoping for something a little more exciting like exciting unique something another cow granted this menu could be completely different uh, just because they're going to take the same idea of having a place where you can go and watch sports mm-hmm. at City Walk and grab some food, and also since there's uh, since there's the word brew in there, you would think that there might be a beer or two to have. Fingers crossed, Maybe. man. Would, I, who knows? So. They might even be brewing their own beer in there, which that would be cool. I uh, no, I don't know. 
You don't want some NBC beer? I can't imagine it would be good. Universal's big on that exclusive beer, though, because they have, like, the Duff beer, and then they have the Diagon Alley. Or, um, well, yeah, but that's Florida Bullfars. Beer Company. So if they came in and were and did brews there, and they were actually, you know, if they set up a brewery inside and Florida Beer was the one running it, then it has the potential to be good. But I, don't know, I think it's kind of a wasted opportunity for taking out a place in City Walk that had mediocre food yeah. and just focus primarily on watching sports to bring in a new place that's going to have the same style yeah, food. Yeah, like why tear down the building and re redo it yeah well because then they don't have to pay nascar any more money and more people will be likely to go over to the nascar crap over at international drive i know you will i'm, I'm sure i'll there. be there i know you love it uh <clears throat> I, <laughs> okay yawn okay moving nbc on. sports grill brew look for it in the near future and uh that will take us on to our last buzz item which we mentioned at the top of the show skrilla the very top of the show yeah skrilla uh still don't understand the word don't know if it's actually real uh, it's real but it's real. how how to make mad skrilla while you're at universal orlando there's the guy there is the guy i i had to include his picture in there just because of how ridiculous he was i didn't understand a lick of anything he said he repeated himself a lot uh because i think he was just like prepared for every, us to say no yeah well i just wanted more information so we could talk about it uh this kind of borders on the fact that it's a we're calling it a buzz item but it could technically have been a uh, a normal topic on its own but one of the things that happens seasonally which is happening right now so that's why we're gonna we're gonna say it's buzzing is uh the preview centers that pop up all around universal orlando are you familiar anyone besides rhino and i familiar with preview centers i know there's that they had used that uh space in universal studios that looked like a bungalow or whatever as a preview center at one point and then it was where that that like classic um monster yep. gift shop is now where or it's whatever. the film vault now before that used to be delancey street preview center uh, yeah that's where uh, I'd, I'd done it before in there so yeah you look very confused by I this i am JL. still i was you lost me at mad skrilla. skrilla okay i'm still waiting to catch up and understanding what's happening right now so right now uh we're about to go into summer and nbc as well as all of the the movie studios are starting to try to get their lineups the fall getting lineup. ready their fall lineups ready to go okay but they're not just going to put out a show ran like you don't throw up a show like uh the odd couple on cbs and just expect it to do well okay. i watched the first Matthew episode Perry of that yesterday <laughs> you so you can't funny. just expect that to happen they have to do market research and really get to know if people are going to like it whether or not to even push it uh okay there are so many pilots out there that don't ever see the light of day so test audiences is the idea test audience is the idea and at universal if you agree to be a part of the test audience uh which as saying test audience it means you get to go into the room where you <laughs> sit with nascar style headphones on that cover your face mm. up and you just stare at a tv for an hour and watch something and then answer some questions i lost my train of thought in there but that's what the experience is like and if you do that then they will pay you 25 dollars cash i like right this away. idea honestly only, only an hour i think that, it has to i i think it fits well that's the kind of thing they do at the actual universal studios out yep. and, and and a lot of other movie studios and television studios do this kind of thing oh yeah no it's it's, it's something cool. that happens all the time and this experience is available at uh, Universal Studios Florida, as well as Islands of Adventure. They have a, a preview center set up there as well. But basically, as long as you're there at a certain time in the right place, then you will be able to participate in this. Uh, we were walking over to do our start meeting all the characters and take pictures and all that stuff. And uh, we had a, a lovely team member that basically sounded like a, a Creole Cajun uh, salesman. Uh, very hard to understand, but he, uh, <laughs> what? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't think he was, he wasn't like, oh, guarantee, but he wasn't like, <laughs> I don't know. That's how <laughs> it was coming out of my head. It was very Creole. Uh, anyways, he just pulled us to the side and we, we both knew automatically what it was for, that it was for the preview center and, uh, and that you get paid to do it. 
but we kind of put them through the the test and asked them more questions about it and uh at least at this point they were doing this in the dark room on hollywood boulevard so where there's that camera shop looking thing that never gets used for anything Mm -hmm. that's because it's now a preview center that delancey has gone uh so is that is the quote-unquote creole gentleman yeah the man in this photo right here i think his name's like richard oh no that's not him (laughs) no that's not him it's him oh okay uh yeah, that, I really don't know who's in the photo. <laughs> that's him. It's, I don't. He was so excited there. to take his picture. He so. was like real happy that we signed up. He was really excited. Yeah. He thanked us like a million times when we were leaving. Yeah, so there were 150 spots available to take part in. I believe he said for the day, not for the at once. day. Yeah, yeah. I believe the test started sometime around 11 o'clock. So he was saying how many people came through, and there's a. Uh, there's not much more spots left for the day, so he can't guarantee that if we walked away and came back that we'd be able to get in on it. Uh, stuff you would expect from any limited type thing happening. Uh, he also shared other information that since they have it at both parks, even though you might be going over to watch the same thing because they don't know you, you can still technically con the system and go over then to Islands of Adventure after. Wow. And as long as they have spaces available, then you could make another he, 25 dollars but he told so, us too like if we were doing that to say that we to, that the other group was full because they were doing two yeah. groups of like i so i think if we had gone over we would have watched something different so basically if you take hope. a couple hours out of your day you can help pay for your park ticket yeah well for craig it paid for a well yeah i mean it's it's just it's twenty five dollars that you can literally spend on anything. As soon oh, okay. as you're finished, they just Did hand lunch? you twenty five cash. You can go buy yourself lunch. You can buy yourself a beer, ice cream. I'm ice saving cream. mine for Trader Sam's mugs. Uh, <laughs> as a smart. Is that the whole circle of life idea again? Exactly, <laughs> and uh, it's just a really cool experience. And of course, it doesn't happen all the time. I mean, like they don't do this in October because shows are in the middle of their swing. They're not going to have you watch a pilot at that point and say, oh, "Do you think it's gonna <laughs> think it's gonna keep going?" Well, well, I've already watched the first six episodes. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's and to do it, I want to say that on the paper that he first initially filled out, uh, you don't have to necessarily be eighteen or older to do it. I want to say it maybe started at thirteen, like thirteen to seventeen, and then eighteen to thirty-four, and blah blah blah. Up. Yeah. Um, so it's a wide variety of ages can actually participate in it. And you go down and you get set up in front of your computer and you're holding on to these two triggers and you have a green one and you have a red one. Like and, when you do your hearing test. Yeah. And when you like something, you press the green one. When you don't like something, you press the red one and you keep <coughs> holding for the amount that I didn't hold mine the entire time because I was like, my hand hurt. Yeah. But you're supposed to hold it for as long as you're enjoying it, as long as you dislike it. And then you can, press the space bar on your computer if that's whenever you would tune out and so we have but a, you have to watch the rest of the yeah program. you still have you to watch it yeah you're but, committed to the time when you go in yeah so we got stuck with a 40 minute uh, Good. crime mystery drama uh, which woof uh called blind spot <laughs> yeah don't expect it coming to i uh, hope i hope to god it does not <laughs> see the light yeah. of day it uh it stars and I looked it up. It's Jamie Alexander who oh, plays Sif in Thor. Yeah. She is the main character who wakes up in a bag at Times, Times Square. Square naked with tattoos all over her body. And then the FBI has to team up with her to figure out her troubled and mysterious past. She's it was got basic. amnesia. It was memento mixed with the born identity. It was garbage mixed with more worse garbage. <laughs> is, she the one in, is she the one in Thor: The Dark World, like the woman fighter, yeah, like Xena warrior? She's type? been on the yeah. She was in the first one too. Agents oh, of Shield twice okay. now. Yeah, uh, it, it was an awful. I hope it never sees the light of day. We watched it. Uh, I pressed tune out. I think uh, within twenty minutes after some really, really awful Chinese stereotypes. I'm gonna do the the an example of like the like the dialogue was clearly written by somebody who's watched a ton of cop shows but picked up none of the vernacular so it was very much like oh we're cops we gotta go arrest this guy <laughs> like it was no it wasn't there was nothing educated about it it was very cliche like it was and it was shot to mimic like other i'm assuming it was going to be on nbc or maybe cbs but 
Oh, it could was, be USA. Yeah, they also. I. It was just like it would do one of those shots where like it would be like down a hallway and the guy was walking down the hallway and then it would get real close and he'd be like a different section of his body movement to try and be like, look, we did that cool discontinuity camera edit that it would keep doing for no reason and it was just the worst. And then the it was this FBI headquarters that in New York City that apparently has all these billions of like giant monitor screens everywhere and. Uh, is there everyone's dressed super fancy no one weighs over 100 you know 175 pounds or anything and like the point is we terrible. put up with 40 minutes of garbage and then terrible. a very short survey afterwards which pro I, the average person i would say would maybe take about 20 minutes however i think in both of our cases we <laughs> were just I'm going to press whatever I need to get, to out. get out of there because I was just asking questions like enough, what other Steve. shows do you typically watch and what what characters did you like? How did you like their interactions? Nothing. Uh, no just kind of put it out there like that. But you walk out with twenty five dollars and, uh, you know, it's it's technically not a buzz item. But while they're doing this right now, if you're at Universal, take advantage of it. Try to get it's some free scrolling. money. Enjoy Blind Spot. Yeah, if you have to watch Blind Spot, oh my gosh! Just press just, the space bar the second yeah, you sit the second down. you see it. Don't even. It's awful. By uh, the way, by the way, one of the funniest things you can do, and I just did it a few minutes ago, is go to Urban Dictionary and look up Skrilla. Yeah, what's it mean? Uh, okay. It means uh, cash money. Okay, good. Uh, some <laughs> coin, son. Uh, some, some coin, son. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of other different um, wonderful synonyms. Well, I'm glad that we weren't too far synonyms. off base. Yeah, but. Uh, Yes, so look for any of the preview centers while you're there. Make some money. And that is going to do it for the buzz. We are no longer buzzing. And uh, if we're not buzzing anymore, that means we just have the rest of that housekeeping to go. I thought it was the mid-show shuffle. We don't have a mid-show shuffle. If we did, this this show would be lasting two hours at this point. What cracks me up about the mid-show shuffle is Rhino automatically does this thing with his shoulders. It's more of a shimmy. Whether whether the camera is on him or not, it's just instinctive. You say the word. And his shoulders shimmy. Mm. Just like that, everybody watching. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> for everybody who's not, remember to go check out our show notes page at disunplug.com. There you can get information to links to <laughs> crap we <laughs> talked about. Uh, and that can also open your world to other stuff like the other Diz podcasts. There's many out there, including the trip Yay. and the Disney World edition and the Disneyland edition if you like to listen to audio only shows. Uh, and just a lot of information out there that you can find on disunplug.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, like us places, comment on places, uh, review us on iTunes, subscribe to us on iTunes, do this, that, and the other. And most of all, thank you everyone for putting up with us every week. Exact you. Exact you. <laughs> now we... We uh, were pretty ridiculous at times, but uh, we love your feedback, comments, and support, and uh, we're doing it for you, so the more you give us back, then the more we can give you. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Diz Unplugged Universal Edition. We will be back next week with another episode, uh, a non-live episode, and uh, I don't know what we'll be talking about. No, a live episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, a live episode. But, uh, yeah, it'll be live. And uh, bye. Bye.